love to welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel for our continued cover of Charbonne Hydrogen, making some significant strides uh, toward bringing their first property, Sorrel Tracy, on the line. Before we get started, I'd like to bring your attention to the description and disclaimers below. Uh, I am affiliated with Charbonne. I'm providing this content for you, and I am paid for those services. If you're interested in reading the disclaimers uh, below, uh, please do so. They'll be provided up front uh, for you. Please peruse those at your own leisure. And I do encourage you to do your own uh, due diligence and, and homework on the companies that we are looking to provide awareness for. And I, I want to stress that if you are subscribe to the independent investor channel you are first to understand the developments that are taking place with charbonne for you guys that are unfamiliar with the story charbonne is a first mover in the green hydrogen space uh, they are looking to stand up their first property in sorrel tracy and they've taken a huge step uh, in that end with the press release that was just released a couple of days ago that of which i will provide for you in both the description and the comment section for your ease of reference i encourage you to kick in and take a, a review of that uh, we will um, review quickly in this video some of the particulars of that opportunity as well as the newest investor slide deck that was just released june of 2024 here um, to give some updated clarity on what we have previously reported out with regard to the roadmap that Charbonne has disclosed to investors and share owners alike uh, in their phased in process. We've covered the phased process, uh, phase one in incremental steps, phase 1A, phase 1B, uh, phase one, and then finally phase two uh, has been seemingly updated on their investor slide deck to add um, two more phases to that. Uh, as well as an increased opportunity in in uh, in bringing in uh, final revenues. Uh, but the most important step in this is getting their flagship company uh, off the ground. That is Sorrel Tracy, and we'll continue to uh, report out on that progress. Uh, with that, guys, we'll kick in here and we'll take a look at the press release. This is the press release that Sharpbone has released to... Uh, the public facing audience on the major step forward in the uh, equipment availability, specifically the electrolyzer that they're bringing online to help them uh, move along their phased integration of providing green hydrogen at their flagship property, Sorrel Tracy. I will provide this uh, press release in the description as well as the comments section below. Uh, so you can peruse it uh, at your leisure, uh, but it's a big update from just this week. So I don't know if the stock market has had a chance to truly uh, digest this information. Uh, I have been monitoring the stock action fairly closely, and it does not seem that the, um, the stock has moved much in response to this information. And it could very well be uh, taken uh, on deaf ears in a step toward uh, a prove-it story for Charbonne, and that's totally fine too. Uh, we will continue to monitor the, um, the time frame that has been disclosed here by Charbonne, expected to take four to six weeks of installation and commissioning uh, to be in production. Guys, that's right around the corner. So this is not something that we're kicking out. Uh, a couple of years. This is uh, a couple of weeks here before we can expect some movement on their ability to really put uh, proof to concept here in their uh, opportunity at Sorrel Tracy. And for you guys that don't understand, Charbonne's a first mover in the space, and this is a huge, huge opportunity to keep that first, first mover advantage uh, toward a production of green hydrogen in not only their first location, but other locations as well as disclosed in this press release. So very exciting times here. Um, prior to release of this information, we were in a holding pattern with regard to the availability uh, of the electrolyzer and the supply chain shortages that uh, just saw Charbonne uh, having to opt for a smaller, uh, uh, less capacity unit here. Uh, and this press release changes all of that in talking about their phased-in integration and being able to actually increase 
those productions in the way, in way of uh, uh, megawatt output for uh, the electrolyzers that they are looking to put in place at Sorrel Tracy, as well as their follow-on properties, which I understand Detroit, Michigan is the next to come on the line, uh, but also plans, robust plans, and very um, very aggressive plans, I might add, to continue to expand uh, their projects uh, into uh, upwards of 30 different strategic locations. These locations are uh, expected to be uh, contributory in their ability to uh, derive the electricity needed to produce the green hydrogen, which is uh, by nature the very definition of green hydrogen. We have to make sure that the energy input uh, that's being consumed in the production of green hydrogen is coming from uh, uh, natural sources. And, and that really is the differentiator in Charbonne's quest to continue to maintain their first mover advantage in their space. Uh, and this announcement is a huge step in that. We will continue to report out on the progress on the commissioning of the electrolyzer at the Sorrel Tracy uh, property, their ability to produce uh, in the capacity that's being disclosed here, and we'll look forward to future updates on the marked progress by Charbonne Hydrogen. So we've come out of the press release, if nothing else, to understand the progress of Charbonne and understand that we report out on a company that um, ha has a lot of work ahead of them. Okay, we understand that. But announcements like this are progressions toward that end, and to provide updates on the progress is to be taken uh, at face value, uh, understand how it moves them one step closer to an inevitable uh, production of green hydrogen, which I think um, in, in everybody's understanding of where environmentally sensitive uh, issues and companies with decarbonizing or at least lowering carbon footprint uh, on the earth, companies like Charbonne with a first mover advantage absolutely demand and garner attention from would-be investors as well as uh, institutions because it will be uh, paramount for Charbonne to get the first property uh, on the line and demonstrate their ability to provide clean hydrogen uh, to an industry that is, um, is, is ready to take receipt of that hydrogen. If you guys enjoy the content, I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, you'll be made abreast of any new developments and any of the companies that I cover through the channel. Leave your comments uh, at the bottom of the video. And thank you so much for tuning in for the entirety of the video. And good luck in your investment future.